Hey guys, it's Coach Mike, owner of Empowered Sports and Fitness, and we are back again for another movement game of the day. And today's game is called The Price is Right. Now, if you've ever watched the show, there's a game where you have the opportunity to win a car. So, check this out. Here is how you play. What I've gone and done is, on the computer, I found an image of a car, and I printed it off, and I cut it up into three pieces. In addition to that, on some paper, I wrote down some movement games one can do when playing this game. So here's how this is going to work. I've got a bunch of cones set up right here. And in just a second, I'm going to hide the pieces of the car and the movement games underneath the cones, okay? And after I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come all the way here to the other side of the room, and as the athlete, I'm gonna have to run down and tip over a cone and see if I can find a piece of the car. If I find a movement instead of a piece of the car, I've got to do the movement game. So I may have to run in place or jump in place or do a plank hold or some chair squats or some jumping jacks or march in place. The purpose of this game is you have to try and find all three pieces of the car, but you only get three turns. Just like in baseball, three strikes and you're out. If you don't find the three pieces, you simply reset the cones, hide all of the pieces again under the cones, and have the athlete try again. If they're successful in finding all three pieces, they win the game. So, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this for you so you can see it in live action. So bear with me as I set up this game for you. Let me prop this up here so you guys can all see. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hide the pieces of the car. I'm gonna put one under this cone, another under this cone, and one more piece of the car is going to go over at this cone. And now I'm going to add my exercises or movements to the game. So here we go. I'm going to place these all underneath these cones right here. Perfect. Now, the athlete is going to start right here on the other side of the room because we want to get some cardio involved. Okay? So now they're going to have to run and they're going to have to tip over one of the cones. Is it a piece of the car? No, it is not. So they've got to run this back. The movement is march in place. So for 10 seconds, marching in place. So that would be strike one. But maybe I'll have a little bit more luck this next time. I'm going to run on down, see if I can find a piece of the car. No, I didn't. So that's strike two. And I've got jumping jacks. So remember, when we do our jumping jacks, you can do the open and close concept or big X, little I. So now I'm going to run back down, see if I can find a piece of the car. And bingo. I found a piece of the car. So, the game continues now. I still have two strikes. If I find another piece of the gar, uh, car, I stay in the game. So, let's see if I can find another piece of the car. Oh, I found another piece of the car. So, I've got two strikes and two pieces of the car. So, I really have one shot at this. Let's see if I can find it. I'm not even actually sure where I... Remember putting it, but let's see. Here we go. 
I'm gonna go all the way down and flip this coat over. Oh, strike three. Last movement I have to do is jump in place. So, jumping up and down. Again, if our athlete has difficulty jumping up and down, you can substitute it with maybe some marching in place or knee lifts. This is a great family that you can play with the entire, uh, I'm sorry, this is a great game that you can play with the entire family. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to keep moving, have fun, and stay tuned for more games.